Hello, in a couple of weeks time we're going to have a lesson on corrosion and rusting and today I want to set up an experiment to investigate the conditions that make metals corrode or rust. Um, I've had a rake in the garage to see what I could find, I was trying to find some iron nails, I don't think any of these are iron but uh, I'm going to try and see what happens. I've got different conditions that I'm going to set up and I've given you a guide of what you might want to do, what my experiment is, but if you don't have any of the equipment or you want to try something different then feel free to do so. So here are my jars that I've set up. I've put one of each different type of screw into the jar. Into A, I have put uh, just some tap water. So it's water, and because it's tap water, it's got oxygen dissolved in it. Into B, I've put my rice, and then I've put a lid on top. The idea of the rice, as anyone who's ever dropped their phone in some water will know, is that it tries to absorb the moisture. If you've got one of those little packets of crystals, that would be even better, but I've had to make do with rice. Um, in C, there is nothing, it's just the air around it and I'm leaving that open. Into E, I have put, oh hang on, I've got them out of order, haven't I? Um, into D, I've got uh, water that I've boiled in the kettle, so by boiling it I've removed the oxygen. And then I've poured some oil on top, so that's sealing it, so no more oxygen can get into there. And then I've, I've just put a lid on as well. And then finally into E, I've got tap water. So it's got water and it's got oxygen dissolved in it because it's tap water. And I've added some salt in there as well. So I'm gonna find somewhere to put those undisturbed. And I'm gonna try and take a picture of them over the next couple of weeks so we can see what they look like. I've got this all set up. My independent variable, the thing I'm changing, is the conditions that my pieces of metal are in. I want to keep the temperature constant, I don't want to vary that, so I'm actually going to put them all on kind of the same windowsill. My control variable is my type of metal. I've actually kind of got two independent variables because I've changed that as well, but I've made sure that every pot has each of the types of metal in, so I have that constant across all of them. Um, and my dependent variable, the thing I'm going to measure, is what happens to the metal? Does it corrode? Does it rust? Uh, what does it look like? So I'm going to use my phone to take a photograph and then I'm going to try and take one every couple of days so I can record the changes. So have a think about how you're going to record your data so that you can share it in a couple of weeks time. I look forward to seeing it.